So the STG and the M1 Grand have officially been added to Warzone as usable weapons. Although you are not able to edit attachments, you are able to use the blueprints that were added to the battle pass. There was 24 items added to the battle pass. We'll go ahead and kind of look at the two different blueprints. I already went in and tested them, tell you kind of basic stats on them and where they're going to fit into the game. Obviously, once we're able to make custom loadouts, the guns are going to be significantly better because you're going to be able to make the weapon fit your individual play style. And then obviously there's going to be better attachments than others. If you enjoy the video, learn something new, please do me a favor, hit the like button. If you're brand new, want to find your way back, double check, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. So if you go to the battle pass, you'll notice that they added this vanguard stuff where you get double xp double weapon xp calling cards things along those lines emblems and you keep going down you'll notice at 24 the stg is available this is one particular blueprint um this one's more like i would call it more of an smg build you can see it does have the extended mag which is necessary but this is the one you probably use more often uh at least with the current settings because the other one that we're going to look at only has a 30 round mag and is built a little bit more for range so it ends up being kind of one of those things where you can kind of choose which one makes the most sense this would be like a short range one but it does come with the 60 round mag then we'll go ahead and continue a little bit further and then you'll see the m1 grand is also available uh and you'll be able to use that weapon and this one is actually surprisingly easy to use um it has a lot of visual recoil which we'll take a quick look at but the actual recoil is almost non-existent so you're able to spam the heck out of it but it's kind of doing that weird thing where the gun kicks like weird this charm is equipable if you go into a private match. I was able to <laughs> look at that. And then you got more items. And then you have a secondary blueprint, which is later on at tier 64. This one's fully decked out with a high zoom optic. The only problem is it comes with a 30 round mag, which is going to kind of hold the weapon back a little bit, especially in like trios and quads and things like that, but definitely still usable. So I've already had the opportunity to go in and test. Uh, what I will show you here is kind of what it looks like when you are firing the weapon. This is the M1 Garand. Um, and you'll see that at fully, you can see how much visual shake there is. But the gun, I'm not actually really controlling it all that much, and it has that loud ping. But you can kind of see how that visual wobble is. If we look at the same thing for the STG, you'll notice it doesn't really have that same effect. And it kind of just goes up and to the right. Um, not that crazy. So I was able to test those things. I also went in and tested bullet velocity. Um, so you can go ahead and see the individual target from 500 meters. The bullet velocity on the STG build with the long range setup is definitely faster, which we'll take a look at. And then the M1 Garand is kind of slow, which I would imagine if it had the right attachments is probably be in a good spot. I also went in and tested damage values. This is where I go and damage bots in a private match, shoot them and look at kind of what the damage looks like after the fact. So with that, let's go ahead and look at what the data says. All right, so here's pretty much the data I was able to put together. Uh, we got the M1 Grand coming in at an RPM of 411. It is trigger capped, so you can only spam it so fast. It'll just keep going at 411. Um, we have a headshot damage of 116 and a chest of 57. And then we got 49 and then 100 for long range. That's going to make it three to five shots to kill up close, which gives it a pretty competitive TTK. Too bad you have a high zoom optic. This would probably be used as an SMG like the DMR or the type that we had recently where they were more like an SMG, this could definitely do that. Uh, because of the damage output, you end up with a really good TTK. You get one headshot in the mix, it'll lower it to four shots to kill, two, and these are insane TTKs. Um, on top of that, we end up with the long range, Still, if you get one headshot in the mix, the TTK is still pretty good. Um, without that, it's kind of average. Uh, but odds are, based off the visual kick that we're seeing, um, it's going to be a little bit hard to reach that trigger cap and remain accurate. So I think this is going to be more of a mid-range gun, at least until we can create our own class with it. When it comes to the STG, we're going to have two different builds with it. This is the long-range build I tested. So... The bullet velocity is going to be one way, but that one is built more like an SMG. So you could probably combine that and make it a sniper support. Um, and we'll kind of see how that goes. Rate of fire 600, which matches what we saw in Vanguard. Then we have 54 to the head, 36 to the rest of the body. And then for long range, 48 on then 32 to the rest of the body, which gives us a five to seven shot to kill up close and six to eight at range. And you can see the TTK is pretty good at 700. Um, and then you get two headshots in the mix. This is kind of... Almost exactly like the AK-47, uh, we're comparing them head to head because 
This particular stat is exactly the same, so we'll kind of see how it fits in, but overall I thought I'd give you guys a heads up, so in case you want to use the weapon, and now let's go ahead and look how you equip them. So to equip them, as long as you've reached the specific tier within the battle pass, you'll go ahead and go to your weapons, uh, and then you can go ahead and go over here, and then you'll see the weapon does not allow you to actually equip uh, the gunsmith. Like right here, we have access to the gunsmith. We're not gonna have that with this. You're gonna have to go ahead and click on the weapon, and you can go ahead and even sort. You can do Vanguard only if you want or whatever the case is. But if you have blueprints, you'll be able to go to the armory. Um, and then you can select the individual blueprint you want to use. Obviously, this one has 10 versus the 7. But it really depends on how you're going to use those weapons. When it comes to the other one, you're just going to go to your tactical rifles. And it'll also be there. And you will be able to level up these weapons. That's one of the advantages of having them early. Obviously, you won't be able to use the attachments until the integration later this year. But at least you'd have a max level weapon. So when Vanguard does drop, you can start working on camos or have one gun mostly out of the way. And we'll kind of see how that goes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, learned something new. If you did, please do me a favor, hit the like button. If you're brand new and want to find your way back, double check, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Thank you for watching as always. Have a great day.